Hey guys, welcome to part four of my making a Discord bot in Python YouTube series. In this video, it's going to be really quick because the code is very short, but we are creating a clear command. And the clear command is essentially just going to clear a certain amount of messages from the channel it's used in. It's really straightforward and it's really common in a lot of bots, um, especially you'll find it in moderation bots. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, as you may have guessed, we need our decorator. So at client.command, make sure you have those parentheses there, very important. Next, we need our function header. So async def clear, clear being the name of the command. We are then going to set two parameters. The first one is going to be ctx to represent the context of the command. And the next one is going to be amount, which will represent the amount of messages we want to delete from the channel. All right, and we're actually going to give it a default value. Uh, we can give it something small like 10 or I don't know, let's do five even. And essentially that default value is going to be used when amount is not specified. Meaning if we type the clear command dot clear without a number at the end, it will simply just say, okay, it didn't give me an amount five, so we're going, or sorry, it didn't give me an amount, so we're going to use the value five as amount. That's, that's essentially how the default values work. All right, so we're going to have our colon at the end of that line there um, to finish off our function header. And then within the function, it's all one line, await ctx.channel.purge with parentheses because it's a method. And then within the parentheses, we are going to say limit is equal to amount. All right, so what's happening here? We're essentially just taking the context and accessing the channel. So the channel or ctx.channel is getting the channel that the command was running. And then on that channel, this part here is returning a channel object. On that channel, we are calling its purge method and we are setting limit uh, equal to amount. And limit is essentially just how many messages uh, am I going to purge? And in this case, amount, let's say we didn't pass anything in, it would be five, so limit is equal to five, AKA it removes five messages from the channel that the command was used in. All right, so it's pretty straightforward and it's very small. Of course, this is a very uh, minimal command. You can definitely add um, different sort of ways that the command will work based on you know different values that are given, such as you know if amount is equal to zero, you might wanna handle that. Um, or you might want to give it or give the command permission, uh, or sorry, you might want to give people permission to use the command only if they have something like the manage messages permission, right? Because then they can already delete messages. So why not let them delete them in bulk, right? But anyways, let's just run this. Let's just wait for the on ready to on ready function to trigger bot is ready. Good. Let's head over to discord. I'm going to ignore that message for now. And I'm just going to type in. Uh, like, what is it, five, we said? Yep, amount is equal to five, so test, 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 test. All right, so we have five messages there, and now I'm going to type dot clear. So as you can see here, there are, or sorry, it did remove five messages, but there's still one left over, and you might be wondering, why did that happen? Well, essentially, I typed dot clear, and that message was sent, and then the bot realized, okay, he sent a dot clear message, I need to act on that. So I'm going to run my clear command and essentially I'm going to look at the five, or yeah, the five most recent command or recent messages in this channel. And the most recent one is the dot clear message itself. And I'm going to delete that as well as for the test messages. So that's why this test up here was not deleted. If I did something like clear two, it would clear both of them, including the original dot clear to itself. All right, so that's essentially how to use it. And uh, yeah, it's a really small, easy to use command. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I will get this series done eventually. I'm sorry, I'm just not very consistent with my uploads, but if you wanna yell at me to make another video, then just join the Discord. It'll be down below in the description, as well as a couple other links, such as the documentation, which you can refer to. If this video was completely not helpful at all, you can always look at the documentation and it outlines how to use, how to essentially do the exact same thing, all right? So this video is essentially just the documentation
as a video. I don't know, I'm kind of rambling at this point. But again, if you like the video, leave a like, comment down below for videos you want to see in the future. I've got links in the description which might help you out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.